Check me out. Boom, bam, bam, bop. Bada bop, boom. Pow. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Abigail. Again, it's the very first time, yeah? And if you're a returning subscriber, you're welcome! Yay! So, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this cute, beautiful hairstyle, this crochet hairstyle, using Lush Nora Curls. So, this is one of the products that was given to me to make this video, to make a video for them in collaboration with them. So, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this hairstyle and how to do a zigzag braid and this beautiful ring braid right here. <laughs> so, but before we go, make sure you click on the subscribe button below if you haven't known that yet. Put on the notification icon as well. So, if you're interested in any video comes up, give me a big thumbs up and let me know what to think in the comment section. Thank you. So, let's get into the video. Sectioning my hair, the front of my part of my hair, the top part of my hair into two. And I sectioned it like the quarter. I bring a quarter of my hair. So, this is, I'm just going to be working on this side of my hair so i'm just using this air wax to define my part so when i'm satisfied i sectioned it again into three a thin part in the middle and two other big parts at the side so the big parts i'm going to be using them for zigzag so for my zigzag i'm going to be sectioning the parts into i think four or five you can make it as much or as small as you want so after sectioning it i use the air wax again to define my part so after that i'm going to be starting with the first part which is in front i'm going to be i'm going to start weaving like corn roll after i take the other part to the back so I'm just doing a weaving, or should I say corn roll, going towards the side. Then when I'm through with the side, I'm going to move to the next line. I'm going to bring out the hair. Then after I bring out that section, I'm going to divide it into two. But the one is not equal half. It's just going to be a small part where I'm going to continue my braiding on. That is, continue my weaving so that to give me that straight line and my hair won't be going up like jumping up or the, the space in between so after i braid it with the air then i'm going to be moving towards the other side of the air just like in zigzag from left to right left to right like that till i get to the end of the hair so this is just how i do my zigzag this is actually the first time i'm doing my zigzag so <laughs> and this was what's worked the best first time i'm going to make a video of doing zigzag yes and this time. so i tried different method and i felt this part works better this way works better so i'm just going to continue moving around left right to go to the end and at the end of the zigzag I did a twist I feel it's in place so keep watching it and i did the same thing for the other side so i just did it to be facing each other i did that in the opposite direction so now for the ring braid so first off i need to be detangling my hair 
and I'm using my edge wax sorry a wax to how will I put it to make my hair slick yeah to slick down so just make sure the air was goes into your air you press it down so it doesn't turn white later so we are going to be needing rings then also bobby pins and crochet pin so then i'm going to be sectioning the air so this is the first part i'm going to be putting the ring into the this is just me slicking down the hair so i'm going to be putting the ring into the crochet first then i'm going to crochet my hair into the ring just like that so the first ring is done then the second one i'm going to be putting it on the second ring so i'm going to be putting my hair in between the two rings so like that I hope you understand from watching it so it comes out like this one of the ring is in place while the other one will be coming up showing or because it's just only one side of it that it's always in place so for the next time we're going to be adding more air to the air then this time around we're going to be cro putting the crochet into the ring that is standing then crochet the air into the ring i forget them just maybe you should just watch it and you understand better yeah As you had more air make sure you put more edge wax or gel or whatever you want to use so that to be slick and to be easy for it to enter into the rings if you keep watching sorry At this point the air was getting too much for the ring so i had to get a bigger ring i just had it from um an air accessory that i had and the air accessory rather so i just got two so i'm just going to be using it for the rest of the air so in case you want to try this air style i'll advise you get some small rings to start the hair then bigger ones as you progress so that's where it's, you won't be stressed. Thank you. So now that we're through, we're going to be securing it with a rubber band. Yeah. So now we have our ring braid. That side was broken, so I fixed it. So this is how it looks like the ring braid and the zigzag. So now I'm just going to be accessorizing the zigzag with this um fancy pin. I don't know what else it's called. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what this is called, but I, 
I call it a fancy pin. So now this is finished. This we're through with this action and um, the zigzag and the ring braid. So I'm just going to be untwisting my hair. And this is how it is if you want to make just leave it like this and have a natural look and and all. So yeah. so this is the first way you can do it then now we'll go to the crocheting so for the crocheting i already have um, a flat twist in my hair so i'm going to be using the lush noracles so i have like two bundles in a pack and you can use one bundle and um, one pack for your hair I think because of the way I cut my hair, so after taking one one curls, I cut one curls into <coughs> four. I cut it into two halves, like half, then cut it again, then that into four. So we have it this short, and I kind of ended up regretting making it this short, but it's still cute. So I'm just going to be crocheting the curves, the Nora curves into the twist and just as simple as that. Not difficult, not stressful, just simple like that. So if you want your crochet to be longer, you can just cut it into two or not even cut it at all depending on the length that you want but i wanted it to be short but they never becoming too short but it's still cute so this is the finished looking she's cute she's so very cute so i just separated the curls so it would be more fluffy and look fuller so let's go ahead and wrap up this video <laughs> Hey guys, hey babes. <laughs> so this is the finished look, and she's cute. She's so cute. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. So if you did, make sure you click on the subscribe button below. If you still have not that yet, put the notification icon as well so you'll be notified when a new video comes up. Give me a big thumbs up. Yes, give me a big thumbs up. And let me know what you think in the comment section. Thank you. So, to my next video. Bye. Kisses. <laughs>